Fitness and post. Who's going to tell me that it's an oxymoron? That's what everybody tells me. It's not possible. It cannot exist, correct? Well, I disagree. And I'm going to tell you why I think that this program is important and why I think that anybody can use it to improve the quality of their life. But before I go into the website and what it is, I think it's important that you know who I am and where I come from. Because if I walk into this room and I'm a fitness expert and I'm Tony Horton and all I do is diet and exercise, you're going to say, you don't get it. You have no idea what people in this industry go through. You're full of shit. Get out the door. Well, guess what? I know exactly what you go through. I have been editing in the trenches for 15 years. I have experienced countless health problems because of this industry. I've literally gone months on end without a single day off, 14 hour days for three, four months in a row without one single day off. And I have paid for it with years and years of poor health. So to go backwards a little bit to where all this started, it was about eight or nine years ago. And I was working on a feature film for Fox Searchlight. It was one of those periods where I had gone three or four months, seven days a week. I was working from 8.30 in the morning until 1 a.m. with a director behind me that didn't know what she was doing. We've all been there before, where you're frustrated, you're stressed out, somebody's sitting behind you, your cortisol levels go up. I did that for four months straight. And it literally just about killed me to the point where I was catatonic. I couldn't get out of bed. The thought of walking from here to there to take a bag of trash out had me to the point of tears, that I was so undernourished, so exhausted, and so stressed that I was literally at a point of suicidal thoughts because the stress had become too much, and I wanted to quit, and I wanted to leave the industry, and I was done. I have been to the worst place that people in this industry can go to, and I have found a way out, and this program is the way out. So just so you know a little bit about me professionally, so you understand where I'm coming from, for the last eight months or so, I've worked on the TV show Black Box, which is on ABC Network. I spent four years on Burn Notice for USA Network. Um, I've cut eight feature films. I've done tons of trailers, EPKs, featurettes, making of documentaries, all kinds of different stuff, and I just completed my producing and directorial debut for the documentary film Go Far the Christopher Rush story, which is a biographical motivational film about one of the former national poster children for the Muscular Dystrophy Association. So then the question is, great, so you're an editor, how the hell am I qualified to talk about fitness? Well, my other passion in life is fitness and athletics. I have 10 years of experience teaching and training in martial arts in multiple disciplines, and I've also taught classes in women's self-defense. I've practiced several styles of yoga for many years as well, and I've taught yoga. I've done two Tough Mudders, a Rugged Maniac, a Spartan Race, Hurricane Heat, and I just finished a 13-mile Spartan Beast. And if you guys don't know what those are, there's a new, um, new sport that's come out that's called obstacle course racing. And basically, you go in natural environments in the hills. It's not like a marathon on pavement, and they're basically military-style obstacle courses. I've also completed the Beachbody Fitness programs, P90X, P90X2, Les Mills Combat, Right now I'm training with P90X3 and Focus T25 for my next uh, Spartan Obstacle course, which is in October. So then the question is, why am I doing this? I'm doing it because I feel like we're at the point that somebody has to. I feel like there's an epidemic in our industry and a lot of people just don't know what to do at this point with how unhealthy it is to do what we do. And I said, what if I take my two passions, one of which is editing, and the other of which is getting healthy, and I bring them together, and I offer something for other people that feel the same way. So I've spent the last 10 years trying to figure this out, and this site is what I've come up with. So imagine you're holding that line drawn on a piece of paper. Forget it's on the monitor, you have a scrap piece of notebook paper, you're holding it, and there's a line on it. You can't erase it, you cannot draw through it, you cannot fold the paper, you cannot rip the paper, you cannot modify the line in any way whatsoever, but you need to make the line shorter. Who can do it? This is an exercise from my Zen martial arts training. It's one of the most profound things I've ever seen because it changed my whole perspective on how to live my life. Here's how you do it. Ready? Now the line is shorter. What does this have to do with anything? This line is the world, and this line is you. The perception that most people have of the world is that they say, I have traffic in front of me and I want to get rid of the traffic. Or I have somebody that I'm competing against in something and I need to exploit their weaknesses. But what if you stop doing that and instead you focused on your line? That's what's going to make their line shorter. And the reason that I learned this in martial arts is when you're, when you're fighting your opponent, you're trying to exploit their weaknesses. You're trying to figure out where are they not as good and where can I exploit that? But then somebody said to me, what if you just focused on your own training? Don't even worry about your opponent. If you worry about 
making your training better, you don't have to worry about the other guy. So the whole idea of this program is about becoming a better version of yourself. Rather than worrying about the other editor in the other bay and whether or not he's talking to that director and is he gonna get that director's next job and maybe he's talking to the producer about me and we're not gonna be on the next show together. Just stop all that crap. <laughs> Just become better at what you do and ignore everybody else. And you will start to rise above because you don't care about all the other drama. So it's all about improving yourself and being a better version of who you are than now. We buy Kona cards, we buy HDSDI converters, we buy mixers, we buy everything. We spend all this money on hardware, but what is the number one tool that you have as an editor or a visual effects artist or an assistant or a producer? What's the number one tool that you have? Yes. Right here. This is the number one tool you have to better what you do. And how many of us in this room are investing in this right now? Probably nobody. So the whole idea behind this program is to start investing in yourself and not think, well, I need to spend the littlest amount of money possible on my lunch or on whatever it is that I buy because I need to save up for the next Kona card. Change your frame of reference and say, I want to make my line longer. So take care of yourself and everything is going to start to fall into place. So what is fitness in post? Well, first, what it is not is a brand new crazy fad diet that's just for post professionals. I didn't create seven minute abs instead of eight minute abs. This is not a quick fix. So if you're waiting to go to my website and say this is going to solve all my problems with the click of a button, it's not. This is a mixture of education and a lot of hard work. So what the site is, is a comprehensive set of resources that are built specifically for the people in our industry that want to take charge of their health. And even more importantly, I built a community where we can all support each other and we can provide accountability. And accountability has proven to increase your chance of success if you're trying to make lasting changes in your life because we are all in this fight together. And one thing I want to make very clear, fitness is not exercise. Everybody thinks fitness means jumping jacks and sit-ups and push-ups. That's not what fitness is. Fitness is about exercise and proper nutrition and wellness, which can include anything from stress management to quality of your sleep to, you know, th there are so many different things that wellness can encompass. And fitness and post is about all of those things and not just about exercise. So the problem, as we see it today, is that sitting is killing all of us. And I don't say that figuratively. This is not hyperbole. This is a literal statement. Sitting 12 hours a day is killing us. Between 92 and 2006, the American Cancer Society tracked the health of 123,000 Americans, not one tiny study of 30 people. This is a gigantic study over the course of 14 years. And men in the study who spent six hours or more a day sitting had a death rate that was 20% higher than men who sat for three hours or less. That's pretty high. Women was double, 40% higher if they sat for six hours a day or more. And they estimated that literally sitting shaves years off of your life. So this is not a figurative problem. This is an epidemic in our industry that somebody needs to address. So the solution that I have found, and like I said, it's not easy and it's not a quick fix, but the first way that we stay fit in our industry is accountability. We need to stick with other people in our industry and in our community. So that's the first thing that I built is the community to build accountability. And the second thing is adaptation. If we say to ourselves, we work 12 hours a day, but now I'm gonna have to add an extra hour a day to make these changes, you will fail. I guarantee you will fail. But if you find ways to take those same 12 hours and adapt and change your activity within that same span of time, you can make the changes that are going to last. So this is not about setting a goal in two months and doing things you don't want to do for two months. You lose the weight and then day you know, 61, you raise your hands and say, yay, I'm done, I succeeded, and I'm gonna do all the same shit I was doing 61 days ago. That's not what this is. This is about making lifestyle changes that you will stick to long term. And then the third way to stay fit in our industry is standing. The best way to avoid sitting all day is to not sit. The idea behind this program is building the foundational strength to be able to start standing more on a regular basis. This is not just me preaching something. I've been a standing editor exclusively for seven years, and I got to the point where even standing wasn't enough. So for the last year and a half, I've had a treadmill in front of my desk. So I cut with a treadmill and I probably walk around 10 miles a day while I'm cutting. The program to build this foundational strength starts with setting your goal. Because the whole idea of goals is that they are what make our life worthwhile. You don't just show up at work to show up at work. You go because your goal is to make money or to work on the next great project or build a resume. You have a goal. And if you set a goal for yourself within the realm of fitness and health, that's what's going to get you somewhere. The second step is to track everything. The idea behind this is called the quantified self. 
something we probably couldn't have done 10 or 15 years ago, but the technology is there to do it. And that which you measure, you can improve upon. You can't really make improvements until you know what it is that you have to improve upon. So if you know where you're starting, you have somewhere to go. So let's talk about what this actually looks like. What I've provided are links to specific trackers that work with this program, the Fitbit trackers, heart rate monitors, and Wi-Fi scale. So I'm wearing my Fitbit right now. So this little thing right here, I wear 24 hours a day, and it tells me how many steps I've taken, it tells me my estimated calorie burn, it tells me how many floors of steps I've gone up, and it gives me just general idea of what my activity is during the day, and it even tracks the quality of my sleep. So I know when I'm restless, I know when I'm awake, and I know when I'm in a complete dead sleep. So I can look at a chart and say, well, no wonder why I feel like crap. It's because I didn't sleep at all last where night. Where do you put that on you at night? Um, there's a wristband that you can wear to put it on. I also have heart rate monitors, which you strap around your chest, or you can also get wrist um, heart rate monitors, and this will quantify your heartbeat so you can get an accurate calorie burn during actual vigorous activity. There are Wi-Fi scales, which is essentially just a scale, but it also measures your body fat percentage and you don't have to log anything. So you step on it, you get off five seconds later, and it's up in the cloud and you have a chart of all of your information that you don't have to log. And then I have a whole selection of different apps that go along with it to log your diet, log your activity, log your runs. And then this is what it ends up looking like. This is my quantified self for this 24 hour period. I took 24,292 steps, went 11.34 miles, burned 4,000 calories. I was active for 29 minutes and climbed 14 floors. Um, it knows that I'm in good shape. So an active minute for what might be for one person is not active for me, so it doesn't give me active minutes. The other thing you're gonna see is the other app which comes with the heart rate monitors is DigiFit. So what you're looking at here is my life over the last year. I started the Quantified Self on July 1st of 2013, so I'm coming up on my one year anniversary, and minus a few days here and there where I forgot my Fitbit or couldn't find it, this is what my life looks like over the last year. This is how you learn how to improve yourself is you know where you're starting, you've established your baseline, and you have somewhere to go. This is the idea of tracking everything. So step three is the big one for most people in this room. This is about making small changes. What this means is taking the time you already have and adapting it to become more active. So the first thing you can do, you can stop taking the elevator, your legs work, use them, take the steps. And of course, if your legs don't work, then I apologize. But I think everybody in here <laughs> is fine. Stop fighting for the best parking spot. And this is gonna do two things. Number one, you get the worst parking spot and you're gonna get more steps. But number two, you're gonna be so much less stressed because you don't care anymore. As soon as you get to your office, stretch for five minutes. Stretching, it's free. If you're getting groggy and you think you need coffee, instead of just going for the next cup, try 30 seconds of really intense exercise instead. Studies have proven that this will give you the same cognitive benefits, but you're not gonna crash later. What, uh, what do you call that kind of exercise. Ah, damn, he asked the question. Jumping ahead. Somebody else said that. The, what you can do are jumping jacks, you can do push-ups, you can do sit-ups, you can do burpees, you can run around the block. The idea is whatever it is that you're doing, you're doing it as hard and as fast as you can for 30 seconds. So you're not doing this for 30 seconds. You're doing this. You do that, you get your heart pumping, and all of a sudden all the cognitive benefits are gonna come without any of the crap you get from coffee. Um, so that's the idea behind that. Once again, this is free. What's a burpee? <laughs> Damn it! All right, this happened last time too. So a burpee is the best and the worst exercise on the planet. So this is a burpee. You're standing here, you drop down to the floor, you do a push up, you jump back up, and then you jump. That's one. Try doing 10 of those in a row without stopping. Soon as your body starts to go up and down, your heart rate increases exponentially. I did one of these, I'm in really good shape, and I'm short of breath. Um, when you do the Spartan races, any time that you hit an obstacle that you don't get through, you have to do 30 at once. My last one, I did 125. The next one, commit to taking one 15 minute break every day and walking outside. This is a big one. Everybody's saying, well, I don't have time to take those 15 minutes. You do this, the rest of your day, you're gonna be so much more productive, you're gonna make up half an hour. So you're actually gaining time by doing this. The big one that I always have, this thing right here, unplug it. You need to talk to somebody down the hall, don't pick up the phone, walk. Just that alone gets me like 3,000 steps a day. Because if I say, oh man, this file doesn't work, or where'd you put this file, or you know, why is, the, why, are, why is this bin not working? Walk down the hall, ask your assistant the question, walk back, 3,000 steps like that. So the next one, which is big, is try to pre-plan your snacks because the biggest culprit in this industry is the bowl of M&M's sitting next to the keyboard and I'm just 
as guilty as everybody else. I'm a self-proclaimed sugar whore, and I've lived off of nothing but sugar and garbage for most of my life. So I'm not a health food junkie that just decided I wanted to teach everybody. I started at the bottom and ate nothing but crap all day long, and I found a way out. And the first way is by pre-planning your snacks, but the second one is a product called Shakeology. This is not a protein powder. This is a full meal replacement. I'm sure everybody's gone to Whole Foods and seen like the maca powder and the goji berries and the acai powder, and like $20, $30 for this little bag of one ingredient, right? This is 70 of those ingredients in one bag. It's a super food that's nutrient dense with everything that your body needs. It's a meal replacement. And what it will do is it will improve your digestion. And more importantly, it is going to curb cravings, so you're gonna stop eating crap all day long. Everything you see on this site, I use myself every single day because I spent years buying just about everything on the shelves to find something that worked, and 95% of it is junk and it doesn't work. This stuff is magic. So the last thing before we move on is I highly emphasize to drop any of the sugary drinks and don't drink your empty calories. So soda, sports drinks, energy drinks, juices, somebody brought up five hour energy. They're all battery acid, every single one of them. You probably would not drink battery acid at work and I highly recommend you don't drink any of this stuff either because it's the number one reason that we have the health crisis that we do in our country. Number one reason, that is proven. So step four is getting outside. There's this crazy burning thing in the sky call the sun that most of us never see. But if you get outside for just 30 minutes a week, that's not 30 minutes a day, go out on one off day that you have, get acquainted with the sun, get a little fresh air and push yourself to the point where you're sweating and breathing hard and the rest of the week is gonna feel so much better. So the first four steps minus the Fitbit, 100% free. You can do it on your own time, you can set your own schedule. This is how you get started. But step five, bring it. This is where you decide, I'm gonna make a total life transformation. Then you become mine. Then you're no longer out in the world and doing your own thing. Now you're part of a group. You're part of an accountability group of people that are all going towards the same goals directed by me. And the idea here is total life transformation. This one is where you make the investment. So what does that mean? It means you're gonna to have to start getting involved with some of the products that I offer on the site, one of which are Beachbody fitness programs. And anybody that's ever seen the P90X ads or the Insanity ads is saying, well, there's no way, I sit all day. I just don't have the fitness level to do that. Those are two of like 30 programs that are offered and they have stuff that's available for every single level of fitness that's out there. So you can start from nowhere and I'm gonna show you in a little bit somebody that did and where they are now. They also include full diet programs with recipes. So it's basically everything handed to you on a silver platter. The only thing you have to do is work. They also offer supplements. This is a company that makes Shakeology and designed it. And then there's another company called Akasha Naturals that I use all the time for all natural vitamins, supplements, wellness packages. I mean, it's the kind of stuff that'll have like three ingredients and then you'll take it and you'll say this stuff is unbelievable, all of which again is available on the site. Um, there's another company called Upgrade Itself that makes a product called Bulletproof Coffee and they make a whole bunch of biohacking technology. So Bulletproof Coffee is a highly, highly scientifically formulated bean where they've removed all of what are called mycotoxins and mycotoxins are all the crap that's in coffee that give you that crash that make you feel like junk afterwards, which therefore makes you wanna have more. Why would the manufacturers do that? Because they want you to keep drinking it. This stuff is the purest form of coffee you can get, but what you do is you add MCT oil, which is an oil derived from coconuts. It's natural and it's highly, highly productive in helping you burn energy and burn fat so you're no longer dependent on burning glucose or burning carbohydrates for energy. <laughs> and then you add butter. And the butter is what gives you the energy to function for hours on end and have focus. So you're not functioning on putting sugar in your system every two hours, you now are burning what are called ketones. And ketones are what help you function cognitively at a high level. If I have Bulletproof coffee at 6.30 in the morning, I have this kind of energy at 10 o'clock at night, one cup. I don't drink it throughout the day. I don't even want more than one because it's all that I need to function for 12 and 14 hours at a time. And it's gonna teach your body how to burn fat for energy because right now your brains and your body say, I need energy to function, so I need carbs, which is an endless hamster wheel, right? But you start using ketones and using fat to burn energy and your body says, well, I'm getting plenty of it. You know where I'm gonna get energy from? I'm gonna get it from here. And I'm gonna get energy from here. And I'm gonna get it from here. And now, you're burning your own fat for an energy source, and that's why people that eliminate carbohydrates from their diet 
lose weight because their bodies adapt and learn how to burn fat. And Bulletproof Coffee is the gateway to making that happen. Another company that I work with directly is a company called Yogi's Anonymous. These are online yoga classes that are for any experience level. So if you say, I just want to learn how to do yoga in my chair for 10 minutes so my back doesn't hurt, they've got it. If you want to learn how to do yoga because your hamstrings are tight, you want to do it in your own space on a laptop, they've got it. Or if you're a professional yogi and you've done it for 15 years and you want to you stand upside down with your ankle behind your head, they've got it. And it's a monthly membership of like $15. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the Nutribullet. The Nutribullet is going to be what the toaster is now. In 10 years, every single kitchen in America is going to have a Nutribullet. This is the Nutribullet. The Nutribullet is kind of like a blender. It's kind of like a juicer but essentially it pulverizes the crap out of whatever you put into it. You could grind rocks with this thing and anybody that owns it will back me up. So the idea behind this is you just have a really efficient, fast way to make something healthy. I probably use it three times a day, if not more. And this is faster than putting bread in a toaster, waiting for it to come out and putting peanut butter on it. I've tested that, this is faster. So if you say to yourself, well, I'm really busy at the office and I'm working with a client and I don't have time to make healthy foods, bullshit. This is the answer. This is what changed everything for me, was making one of these every single day. Now I don't need to eat junk anymore. And then the last thing that I always talk about are standing workstations. Like I mentioned, I've been a stander for seven years now, and now I have a treadmill in front of my desk. So I have a couple of options from companies called Geek Desk and TBC Consoles, where these are the type where you press a button and they go up and down. And that's really the gateway, because if you just all of a sudden decide, I'm gonna stand, you can't do it all day long because your body's not in the shape to be able to do that. Even if you're fit, your body just has not adapted to being in that position. But if you have a height adjustable desk, you can do it in stages. So then the next question is how do you get involved with the community? And the first one is joining the leaderboard. And if you have a Fitbit, that's all you need. This is totally free. So if I go onto my Fitbit dashboard and I go to activity groups, Here's the main Fitness and Post leaderboard, which anybody is welcome to join. And these are all people in the post-production community that are competing for the most number of steps, the most number of active minutes, and the furthest distance. Does anybody know who Dan Berube is? Does anybody know who Michael Horton is? Yes. Right? Lassie Puck. He's the Michael Horton of Boston, of the East Coast. He's the one that organizes the Vegas Super Meets, the Amsterdam Super Meets. He does all the big user groups basically all over the world. Dan Berube, five months ago, was 245 pounds, type 2 diabetic, and his doctor said, you're going to be dead in a few years if you don't do something about your health. He's kicking my butt. Do you see him? Do you see where I am on that list? I have a treadmill in front of my desk. I have 367,000 steps, and he is creaming me. He is now 190 pounds, and he's still going, and he's now doing beach body fitness programs because he has so much energy that he wants to do body shaping. He was going to be dead in five years. He was so unhealthy. He's the number one on the leaderboard in the post-production community. So the next thing that you can look at on the site is there's a whole list of resources about fitness, nutrition, wellness, ergonomics. And the whole idea is that this is not me putting stuff on. This is all of us submitting the information and saying, well, this works for me, and this works for me, and this works for me. And we all look at things that are working for the whole community. Right now, it's mostly mine, but that's because I just built the site. But a year from now, I want the resource list to be everybody's resources. There's also a full forum. Uh, I'm sure that everybody here knows Creative Cow. Got a 2997 sequence, and somebody gives you 2398 footage, and you have interlace, and you're like, how do I fix this? Go to creativecow.net and ask a question. But what if you say, well, I only have 10 minutes, and I want to know how to make a healthy meal? Nobody's going to answer you on Creative Cow, but they're going to answer you on my forum, because that's what it's for. And then there's also a podcast that goes with it, so you can hear firsthand stories of people like Dan Berube that are talking about their story and how this program is helping them. And you can even contribute your own questions, you can record your own voice, and I can answer your question on a podcast. The next thing you can do, which is part of step five bringing it, is joining a challenge group. And a challenge group is an exclusive private group where all of you are making a commitment to yourselves and your peers that you will support each other in the struggle to get healthier. You're gonna choose a fitness program that best suits your needs, you're gonna get the nutrition that your body desperately craves, and you're going to kick a little ass. This is where I see the major transformations that I'm seeing from people like Dan Berube. He's now in two of my groups. He's actually leading, he's gonna be leading groups. 
and I want everybody to start doing that. That's the whole idea. And what you learn about in these groups is how to increase your daily activity, how to improve your diet. You learn how to shop for the right foods because most people don't know how to go food shopping. You learn how to develop daily strategies to manage stress, how to increase productivity, which is really what this is all about. And you learn how to improve the quality of your sleep. So they're a unit. So it's an educational program on top of just being, oh, are you working out? Yes, I'm working out. Are you working out? It's way bigger than that. And then the last step, like I had mentioned already, is that you can actually join the team and you can help other people join these groups and become a part of the fight. And there's only one rule, and that's to lead by example. And that's what people like Dan are doing, where they're going out, doing it, people are seeing it and saying, I want to do that too. So last question, this is how you can contact me online. I'm a social media whore. I am on it all the time. That's how I'm spreading the word. That's where I am on Twitter. That's where I am on Facebook. So that's the, that's the basic idea. So I'm, I'm done talking. Thank you. Thank you.